friends recently all the electric scooter prices has been gone up and now people are exploring best electric scooters in affordable price range soon two new electric scooters are going to land in our india in affordable price range so in this video let's discuss about both these electric scooters hello friends this is aditya and you're watching electric vehicles india Friends, as we all know, Ola launched a new electric scooter in affordable price range named Ola S1 Air. So to compete with this Ola S1 Air, Aether is going to launch Aether 450S, an affordable electric scooter from Aether soon in our India. So let's compare both these electric scooters. First of all, if we look at Aether 450S, it's going to be in affordable price range. If you watch the video till the end, you will get to know the exact X showroom cost of this electric scooter. So compared to existing lineup which is available in Aether right now, there won't be any large touchscreen display in this Aether 450S. There will be small battery and less power compared to Aether 450X. But Aether is planning to give the same feel and power equal to a 125cc petrol engine in this Aether 450S electric scooter. And while coming to Ola S1 Air, more or less this scooter will resemble the Ola S1 and S1 Pro and it's going to launch in an affordable price range. So Aether is going to target IC vehicles, the IC engines which are in this price segment right now and Ola is pretty much sure that they are going to end the ice age with this Ola S1 Air electric scooters. While compared to existing Ola lineup this Ola S1 Air is going to have telescopic suspension at the front and dual shock observers at the rear and there won't be any mid drive motor Aether is using a BLDC hub motor in this Ola S1 Air and there won't be any bump in the foot space and there will be a long grab rail. So these are the design changes and some of the technical changes while well, compared to Ola existing lineup and this newly coming Ola S1 Air. And if you look at the design, the newly launching Aether 450S is going to resemble same as Aether 450S. There won't be any designing changes compared to Aether 450X. But as I already said, the touchscreen display is going to vanish. While coming to Ola, same story repeats here. There won't be any major designing differences in this Ola S1 Air compared to S1 Pro. If we dive into some of the technical specs, Aether 450S electric scooter is going to equip with a 3 kilowatt hour non removable battery. While coming to Ola, Ola is also going to equip with a 3 kilowatt hour non removable battery. Previously, Ola announced 2 kilowatt hour and 4 kilowatt hour variants in this, and after fame to revision, they are only going to sell 3 kilowatt hour battery variant. When it comes to range, with the help of this 3 kilowatt hour non removable battery, Aether is claiming a range of 150 kilometers in 450s and ola is claiming a range of 125 kilometers in ola s1 air these are the idc ranges when it comes to real life conditions aether 450s can give you a real range of 85 kilometers where ola also can give you a more or less 85 to 90 kilometers range so these are the details about battery and their idc and real life ranges when it comes to motor aether is going to use uh, i'm not sure they are not announced yet but i think aether is going to use 4 to 5 kilowatt mid drive motor in this 450s and the top speed will be 90 km per hour when it comes to Ola, Ola used a 4.4 kilowatt BLDC hub motor in this Ola S1 Air. So I can say that this is a major drawback in this Ola S1 Air and the top speed will be 85 km per hour. So I think the charging time is going to be around 6 to 7 hours. There won't be any fast charging support for this Aether 450S. When it comes to Ola S1 Air, this can charge in uh, 4 to 5 hours and there will be a fast charging support for this Ola S1 Air. So the users who are going to buy this Ola S1 Air electric scooter can use Ola Hyper Charging Stations to charge this. When it comes to colors, Aether has not yet announced their colors but Ola is going to available in 4 different colors that to dual tone colors. And when it comes to boot space, Aether may have 22 liters and when it comes to Ola, Ola offers 34 liters boot space in this Ola S1 Air. And if you look at some of the features, I think there won't be any features in this Aether 450S electric scooter. Basically, this will be a basic scooter which is going to compete with petrol engines in that price point. There won't be any large TFT display, there won't be any features, there won't be any navigation. 
no auto hold assist just it's going to be a basic electric scooter with a basic display with minimalistic information when it comes to ola s1 air ola is offering the same display which has in s1 pro that 7 inches touchscreen display and there will be keyless entry music player navigation party mode mood themes etc so ola s1 air is going to be full of features when it comes to service, this Aether 450S is going to sold via currently existing Aether dealerships and uh, it's going to be serviced in the existing Aether service centers. When it comes to Ola, as we all know, Ola has experience centers in all the major cities and Ola also offers home delivery option. And you can service this Ola S1 Air in existing Ola service centers. When it comes to warranty, I think both these players are going to offer 3 years or 30,000 kilometers on the electric scooters. And there will be definitely an extended warranty option available. At last, when it comes to pricing, the X showroom cost of Aether 450S electric scooter is 1.3 lakh rupees. And the X showroom cost of Ola S1 Air 3 kilowatt hour is 1.1 lakh rupees. There is a difference of 20,000 thousand rupees between both these models Aether 450s is 20,000 expensive than Ola S1 Air electric scooter but when it comes to range more or less there will be same 85 kilometers range in both these electric scooters but the advantage with Aether is its build quality and performance and the advantage in the Ola S1 Air is its features so the final decision will be in your hands. Please let us know your thoughts on both these electric scooters in the comment section. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.